Outside zone read. It was terrible for this offense, but that didn't stop them from moving it up the uh, script this past season. So it is a way for um, the offense to regain the numbers advantage in the run game when defenses go single high. Obviously, when a extra safety is brought down into the box, that changes the box count. But if we make him a key defender and make the quarterback involved in the run game, we can block him by not blocking him because he has to account for a body uh, or a potential runner, I should say. So, again, it's a much flatter path on outside zone off tackles. That's where we're going. Then if we were going towards the B-gap, uh, a much more north and south path on that one. So, um, again, we're trying to reach our play side adjacent gap with a series of uh, flowing combo blocks. And, again, we're not touching our read defender as one, hopefully one of our guys can free himself up and work towards the backer. But it's basically going to be um, a hat on a hat with a free blocker until we get to that point of attack. Um, so we absolutely need to win here. That's where we're trying to go. So either getting our end out of the play by being too uh, north and south and washing him, um, sealing the inside, or just straight up winning. Um, that's where we're going to go because, again, with the flat path, if, um, if someone's a yard in the backfield, it's not going to be a good go of it if we can't cut back with our uh, in inside blockers not getting the job done. So here it's kind of a muddled execution from uh, Tennessee here, to be honest, but the result's good, so that's why we're drawing it up. So let's let's skip ahead a little bit. Um, our tight end takes advantage, or doesn't take advantage, but he does block. Our guard is working. Our our tackle is working on that end. Our guard is working on the, the interior lineman with our center helping out. Here's our other guard trying to help out our right tackle on the way towards our uh, edge. And again, there is our free backer, which we're hoping to uh, free up here in a second. But again. Reed Defender, he's in the path, so it's an obvious give for Garantano uh, as we go. But as we skip ahead, oh, goodness gracious, very good job by the edge defender. He wins. Oh, goodness gracious, very good job by the uh, other interior defensive lineman. He wins. So both of our in, both of our outside alleys, play side, B and C gap, are occupied. So that's not good. So we have to make sure our backside blockers create some seals if this cutback is going to work. So we can see here our uh, tackle, I wouldn't say tackle, but he does bring down, he occupies that other interior defensive lineman, so he's out of the play. So that allows our guard to climb and our guard to climb, and let's hope we get our seals. Oh, we, gosh, we actually fall flat on our face. That is not a good look right there. But because of 11 uh, maintaining that gap integrity towards the outside, that's where he's um, heading. He's still a step too far from making a play, and he has to snake around um, a blocker as well to make the play who engages on our middle linebacker, gets enough room, hit eight yards downfield, and there's a Fairly good rep for a look that only had two successful reps across its 13 meaningful reps when the margin was 18 points or less.